free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye, made from sacrificial blood. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, a blasphemous book written by Mehrunes Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. And here you are. I hope you found the museum to your liking. They were worshippers of Mehrunes Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel, they called it the Oblivion Crisis. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gonzol and Draskua, are dangerous marauders, and the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Did you try the grip? Isn't it eerie how it seems to mold itself into your hand? Here's your gold. We just need the pommel and the shards of the blade now.